Hey everybody, it's your buddy Jimbo, back at it again. Blue collar beer review. One beer, one take. All for y'all. All right, look it. I'm gonna do one today, I'm doing one tomorrow, um, because you guys remember a little while back I got into a motorcycle accident, I'm going under the knife on Thursday, so I'm gonna be, um, I'll probably be a little under the weather for a little while. So um, yeah, that's happening. So I figured I'd knock a few out, and just because I I, I know you guys are gonna miss me, but I'm, I'll be back, I might be on some pills, might be fun, might, hold on, you never know what's coming up. So I'm gonna knock this one out real quick, and this one looks like it's gonna be a fantastic beer. All right, this beer, this beer right here, it's Lone Pint Brewery, and it's called Gentleman's Relish. English Brown Ale. And it's out of Magnolia, Texas. And Magnolia, Texas, it's just a wonderful place. It's a beautiful little, just wonderful town, and they have this brewery there, and I got beer there. And I'm gonna do it, all right? This is... It's unfiltered and unpasteurized, okay? So that's why I like my, you know, that's why, I like, that's why I like my beer. That's how I like my women too. So keep that in mind, all right? And I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about something they, they, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about something that we don't usually do, but they have it on the bottle and I've noticed it before on some beers, but not a lot of beers have it. This is 28 IBUs. And you're probably saying, what's an IBU? Or you're saying, I know what an IBU is. And this is 28 on the IBUs scale. And an IBU is their international bitterness unit, okay? So, and the scale is a regular scale, kind of one to 100, all right? And uh, let's see, like an American light beer, like garbage beer, you know, Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, all those light beers, Michelob Light, you know, Natty Light, all those beers, they run about six to eight on the bitterness, maybe, maybe to 10, but yeah, the lighter, the less bitter, okay? And for a long time, bitterness was like, oh, it's bitter, it's bad, bitter beer face, man, was a bad thing. You know, it was like, if it was bitter, it was just bad. And that is basically what made American beer ass. It made it, you know, goat piss because they were afraid that, oh, you know, and then uh, and then we were mocked all around the world because, oh, you, the beer can't even be a little bitter. That uh, The bitterness is, is what brings out a lot of the flavor in some of these beers. And that's what gives it the flavor profile. This is 28. Like a lot of the, like a double IPA, a lot of the IPAs that I do, they run on the bitterness scale from anywhere from like 80 to 100. Right there, they're, 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 they're topping it or they're, they're right in that, that last quarter of the bitterness scale. So I'm not afraid of bitterness and that's probably why I don't like um, American beer, a lot of it, because this is American beer. All right, but the the big beers, the all those all the big manufactured beers, and plus, you can ask anyone that knows me. I'm a little bit bitter sometimes. I can I can hold a grudge. I'm a little bit bitter. You guys know if I review a bad beer, I'm letting you know, and I'm I'm, I'm it sometimes makes me mad. I just get downright mad and bitter about it. So. There you go. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what it is. We're gonna do the double dump. We're gonna do the look, listen, and smell. We're gonna do all that. It's gonna be wonderful. So, um, this is 
fluid ounces. The alcohol by content is six, I think it's 6.5. 6.5, 6, six point two. My bad, my bad. And you know, they're made right here in America, but it's an English gentleman's, you know, whatever, relish, brown ale. One more time, it's a, one more time, it's a English brown ale. For anybody that didn't pay attention the first time. <laughs> so let's pop it open. And let's do this. This, we got some American type, like revolutionary type soldier on it, you know, holding the British keg, but it says USA on it. So it's like, piss off England. We're better than you. We can make bitter beer also. We're not all wusses. <laughs> oh, that's a professional pour right there. Lovely. They're not messing around. This beer's got the crackle to it. It's got the fire in it. It's like a tiger in there. Wow, it really smells great. And look at that. It is dark, wonderful, and delicious looking. So, actually my mouth is starting to water. I don't know about you guys, did your, did, did your mouth water when you pour a beer like that and you, you smell it and it's, it's just, my mouth gets all, it's like ready, it's getting like ready for it. And my stomach just growled or someone's stomach growled. I don't know, it could have been mine, it could have been someone else's. That's how we roll, that's how we roll here. <laughs> Look at, uh, you know, spot on, mate, you know, cheerio, tip, tip. This is an American, you know, brown ale, so... Marika. Arr! Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh, it's lovely. It is so lovely. Look at that. You know, not a ton of lace on it, but some, but holy mackerel, it went down. It's it's not super carbonated, and I really like that. You could really smell uh, the dark, the dark aroma. Oh, there's one stuck in there. There's a big one. There's a big burp stuck inside there. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's 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 such a complex flavor to it. Mm. I don't know. You know, I'm I'm at a loss for words. Actually, it's so wonderful. It's I'm trying to put my finger on it, but you know, in the end, it's just a delicious dark beer. It's got that caramel type roasted flavor to it that you're going to get it's it's the the bitterness is is subtle but it's still there and i can taste it still on the top of my mouth the bitterness so i think this is a wonderful beer super easy drinking and uh oh there it was yeah, it's super wonderful. I think if you guys get a chance to try this, this uh, Lone Pint Brewery, it's just fantastic beer. I love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a bunch of these and I'm gonna drink them. And I know they that I saw they had a whole bunch more of these, a whole bunch more. Yeah, something like that. They had they had a lot of the a lot of different types from Lone Pint Brewery, and I haven't really got into them much. But I think I'm gonna start. Um, 
I think it's going to think I'm, I think I'm going to do this on my recovery. I'm going to try to review a bunch of their beers. Hey, you know what? I'll see you around. I'm going to try to knock one off tomorrow. And then, and then I'm getting surgery. And so it might be a few days or I may be back at it again after my surgery, a little loopy. So, hey, I love y'all. Remember, beer is love. I love you. Leave a like, tell a friend. Yo, buddy Jimbo, out.